Welcome to Maths with EGD. In this video, we'll be looking at this structured question in four parts. The table below gives the marks of a class of 40 students in a test. I mean, all the marks are there, 49, 49 on the first row, first column, down to 48 in the last row, last column. Okay. And then we have to show this marks in a grouped frequency table by indicating the tally taking eight classes, the first being 30 to 34 marks. Then B, we need to draw a histogram from the table uh, that we'll get from A. And C, from our histogram, we need to estimate the number of students who are the mark in the range 42 to 62, inclusive. And then D, what is the least mark a student must obtain if he's to be placed in the top 25% of the class? Top 25%. Uh, I mean, top 25% means that uh, the person should be in the... I'm talking about the least mark, right? That means the person should be in the 75th percentile. So we are going to deal with all of that. Okay? So let's go on with this. The first is to, is to show this marks. To show, to show the marks, to show the marks in a grouped frequency table, in a group frequency table, that's the first thing we need to do. So we, now let's say... Okay, of course, we have the mark. We have the mark. Then we take the tally. And then we have the frequency. That's the first part here. So, and we are told to take 30 to 34 for starters. That means we have 30 to 34 followed. And it's... Everything should be in eight classes, right? So it means we are going to have, so 30 to 34 is the first class. The next class is 35 to 39, you know, using that for 30 plus 4 is 34. 30, then 35 plus 4, that's 39. Then we go 40 to 44 again. And then we have um, 45 to 49, that's the fourth class. And then we have um, 50. To 54 then we have um 55 to 59 then we have 60 to 64 then lastly i think there's one two three four five six seven so lastly we have 65 to 69 and that's how that's going to be so talking about the tallies right we need numbers from 30 to 34 30 to 34 so this should be 30 to 34. So in the first row, this is 30. I mean, that's 31, right? So that's 30, 31, 30, 30, 34. That's one, two. And uh, so for 30 to 34, I think that's all we have for 30 to 34. So just two. So the tally can be something like this. One, two, and the frequency is two. Then 35 to 39. 35 to 39, we have one, one, two, three one two three thirty five to thirty nine um that okay yeah thirty seven is also part of that so making four all together in fact i think it's better i change the marker each time so we have taken that that's what to be two so thirty five to thirty nine to distinguish the study okay thirty five to thirty nine that's one two three and Four. That's 35 to 39. Four of them. So the tally is one, two, three, four. And that the frequency is four. Then we take 44. I mean 40 to 44. 40 to 44. So this is 40 to 44. And that should be one. Okay. 40. 40 to 44, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 
five, six, six, seven. I think it's seven in all. 40 to 44. That's seven in all. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven like that. Then 45 to 49. 45 to 49. Um, okay, let me go the way of box now. 45 to 49. So this is one, two, three, uh, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's forty-five to forty-nine. That's ten. Forty-five to forty-nine is ten. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the fifth one, you always cross it. You do it across like that. That's ten. Then we go again for um fifty to fifty four. Fifty to fifty four. So let's see that fifty to fifty four. That is uh one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 50 to 54 is 8, I believe. Yeah, 50 to 54 is 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the frequency is 8. Then 55 to 59 is 5. Uh, 55 to 59, sorry. Uh, 55 to 59. Um, okay, let me use... I guess I want to change markers at this point. have to come back to this later. Um, okay, so let me go... Let me go... That's blue, okay? So we need, we have a 55 to 59 now. 55, that's one. 55 to 59, that's one, two, three, four. 55 to 59, one, two, three, four, five now, five. So it's five in all. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's five. And then um, let's say, I need, let's go for purple. Okay, 60 to 64. 60 to 64. This is one, two, three. 60 to 64. Yeah, I think that's all. One, two, three. So that's just three. One, two, three. And we have this. And lastly, let's say we go for... um. Let's go for this. So we need 65 to 69. I think that's clearly just one left. That's just 68. So the tally is one, and then this is one. Right. How do we know if everything is in order? If everything adds up, you know, we're told we have a class for 40, uh, mark for 40 students. So we can check if it tallies. So this is, uh, this is six. Well, I think I guess we're going to need that later. In fact, so I think we can do we can also just do that straight. Um, so let me just return this that I wanted to use. So we can talk about the cumulative frequency straight. Cumulative, cumulative. Let me save space. Cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. So this will help us know if we are in order. So to get the cumulative frequency now, we can... So this is 2, this is 6, this is 13, this is 23. That is, you know, this is 2 now, plus 4, 6, 6 plus 7, 13, 13 plus 10, 23, 23 plus 8 is 31, 31 plus 5 is 36, 36 plus 3 is 39, and then 39 plus 1 is 40. So this helps us to know that we are in order. So our frequency, our table is perfect. Then, um, so we have made the table. That's all we are told to show. Show these marks in a group frequency table by indicating the tally, taking eight classes. So um, the first being 30 to 34 marks. So this is first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are done with that. And the cumulative frequency shows that everything is 40. So we are good to go. So that's the first part. The second part says to draw a histogram from your table. All right. Then let's talk about that. 
to to draw to draw a histogram to draw a histogram that's b now to draw a histogram from the table to draw a histogram from the table of course we already know what we have we have the mac we have the mac and then we have the frequency mac and frequency so let's do that and the 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 uh the biggest is 10 45 to 49 is the biggest so that can help us to know how far we need to go so we can do this so um of course we need eight groups now and we can just we can start let's say we start from here so we need one two three four five six seven eight because there are eight intervals in all and then we need on this side now so this is talking about the mac now the mac mm. i mean this should be the centers right um okay yeah this it, it doesn't have to be the centers so these are the marks and then this will be the frequency so let's say this is one can this take up to 10 let me adjust the bit and see that this is one two three four five six seven eight nine okay ten that works so this is frequency on this side now okay so let's go for this i guess uh for the first one now 30 to 34 is just two in frequency so we have this okay 30 to 34 so that is 30 to 34. so the next one is okay i can alternate the next one is 35 to 39 and the frequency is four so we have so histogram right there there's only to have a gap so this one can just continue from the next line okay so we have 35 to 39 we have 35 to 39 okay i guess we can shade all that right 35 to 39 that's four then we have the next one that is um 40 to 44 that's seven so we can have this <laughs> that's a bit wide at the top Ash. that that's 35 to 39 okay so this again 35 to 39 i mean rather 40 to 44, 40 to 44, this 40 to 44. Okay, next we have um, 45 to 49, that is the highest. That is 45 to 49, that's 10. 10 in frequency. So I go back to this. It's 10. Well, sorry, this thing is not perfect. So when you're doing yours, make sure it's in an exam condition, you need all the, or you need your ruler and everything to make sure everything is in order. So this is 45 to 49, clearly the modal class because it has the highest frequency, 45 to 49. Now we have 50 to 54, that's eight now, 50 to 50, 50 to 54 is eight. Let's go green on that. Um, So that's 50 to 54. And then next we go back to black. That's 55 to 59, that's five. So somewhere here. That's 55 to 59. And then next is 60 to 64, um, which can be this again, 60 to 64, that is three. 60 to 64 is three. 
So 60 to 64. And lastly, we need um we need 65 to 69, which is only one. So we have this. So 65 to 69. So in your case, you want to give more space so you can be able to write all these things I wrote down there better. So that's this is what a histogram is going to look like. You know, but if you're not under an exam condition, you can actually do it better by maybe writing a, a Python code to implement this. I'm going to send that. Um, you know, I'm going to, I, okay, I, I, I can always generate that. So that's the second part, the histogram. Draw a histogram from your table. See, from your histogram, estimate the number of students who had a mark in the range of 42 to 62. So to estimate, to estimate, you know, it's an estimate. So to estimate the number of students, the number of students who had a mark from 42 to 62, right? Uh, from your histogram, estimate the number of students who might add a mark in the range 42 to 62. Okay. To estimate the number of students who had a mark from 42 to 62 from the histogram, no, it's from the histogram. We could actually get, in particular, the number of students that go 42 to 62 specifically. But since we have to, to use the histogram, so let's go that way. So if you come to the histogram, right, you see that um, those that will be that will fall in this line will be somewhere around here. Uh, I guess I need, okay, can I use this? Which is a wider one now. Okay. So 42 to 62, that means something starting from around here. I guess I want to use the bigger one. Something from around this place. From, you know, 42 to 62, that's somewhere from here down to 62. 62 is somewhere here too. So, so it looks like you need people in this region. Okay. But, I mean, the trouble is it's difficult to actually pinpoint... Okay, well, I, I guess we can deal with this. Should be able to deal with this. Uh, better still, let me just do it this way. So let me just paint. So 42, 42 should be somewhere like the center of this place, you know, then including everything here. Okay, including everything here, including everything here, you know, up to somewhere in this center, in this middle. But the issue is, we can't, there's no way to know in, for sure the number of those who are specifically 42. So we have to take for the whole, uh, for the whole bar. Okay. So that means that, okay, we can now say the estimates, uh, okay. <laughs> so we can say the estimates would be around would be okay this can be estimated as follows i think this is better this can be estimated can be estimated as follows so that'll be like a uh, frequency of class you know, we don't know 42 to uh, 42 in particular. So we can take the whole of 40 to 44. So that's frequency of class 40 to 44, you know, plus class 45 to 49, okay, plus class 50 to 54, plus class 55 to 59, finally, plus class 60 to 64. So this will be like, this will give us a kind of estimate for this. So that's the frequency for all of them. So that means 40 to 44, right? We already know the frequency is seven plus frequency of 45 to 49, that's 10. 50 to 54 is eight. 55 to 59 is five. 60 to 64 is three, okay? So this can give us the value. So we can have seven, we have seven plus 10, 17 plus eight, 25 plus five, 30 plus three, that's 33, okay? So we can 
this it's just an estimate like it's been rightly noted right so that's 33 so we can say that uh therefore about about 33 students had uh, marks had marks had marks from 42 to 62 so we can do it that way so the last part which is part d what is the least mark a student must obtain if he's to be placed in the top 25 percent of the class okay um so let's go for d now the least the least mark the least mark a student must have to to be in the top 25% of the class of the class will be will be at the 75th percentile okay that will be the 75th percentile which is the same as the third quartile if you like so um so if you can get this this score for the 73 percentile then you're good to go and how do we do that um so uh, okay the formula okay the formula for the it's more like you're looking for median and things like that but this is 75th percentile so the formula for the 75th percentile percentile is p75 which is equal to um i think the l75 that is the lower boundary of the 75th percentile class okay plus 75 over 100 times the total times the cumulative frequency, okay? Times the cumulative frequency. Um, is that how to say it? Yeah, times the cumulative frequency, right? Minus, minus, okay, carefully now. So all this minus the cumulative frequency before the 75th percentile class divided by the frequency of the 75th percentile class. So let me call this B75. And all of these times the class width. Okay. Now, I mean, that's a lot there. If you follow my playlist on uh, measures of position, talking about quartiles, percentiles, and deciles, you'll have a better understanding of this. But this formula fo generally follows the idea of median for grouped frequency. You know, that'll be the, uh, the lower boundary of the mid the lower limit rather yeah. of the excuse me of the median class plus you know for median and that'll be like 50 percent which is half of n or n over two you know but here it's a 75 over 100 times the cumulative frequency minus the cumulative frequency before the 75th percentile class divided by the actual frequency of the 75th percentile class times the class width so how do we compute all this already we know that the cumulative frequency from the table the cumulative frequency is 40, okay? As we know that already, so we can get uh, the cumulative frequency. So we, um, we can just say, uh, okay, I guess I need to pinpoint this. This is lower limit, lower limit of the 75th percentile class. Okay, we've done this a couple of times. Then this is the, so this whole thing now is the position. That's where the 75th percentile class is. Position of the 75th percentile class. 75th percentile class. And then this right here is the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. Not the total cumulative frequency now, cumulative frequency before, before the 75th 
percentile class. Then this is the frequency, the actual frequency, frequency of the 75th percentile class. Then of course, H is the class width. This is the class width. That's the difference between the lower and the upper and lower limits of each class. So we can act, so knowing all this now, before we can find anything else, we need, first of all, need to find the position of the 73 percentile class. So let's go for that. Um, the position, the position of the 75th, of the 75 percentile class, if you like, 75th percentile class is 75 over 100, you know, 75 percent times cumulative frequency, that's 75 over 100 times 40. You know, 40 is the cumulative frequency as pointed out right here. That's the total thing, you know. So that's 40. And since that is 40, um, what can we do? So this is um, 20 here is 2. 20 here is 5. Uh, don't trust your brain under pressure, but I think it's working well here. So, yeah. So 5 here is 1. 5 here is 15. I want to believe, right? I think so. But I mean, be very sure. Be very sure. So let's get, let's actually calculate that uh, so that I don't have to do it again. Okay. So this is 75 over 100 times 40. Don't trust your brain under pressure. 75 over 100 times 40. That's 30. Okay. That's 30, correct, 30. So it means that the position of the 75th percentile is 30. So you have to go back, go to where the cumulative frequency is 30. Here, all right? So now the 30th is 30, sure. We, you know, we're talking about position. So that, um, so you come to where you have the cumulative frequency of 30. So that means uh, you have, so, and that's, that's clearly this, that's clearly this now. You know, 30 lies here. So everything up to here is 23. But here you now have 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30 falls within this place. So it means that the 75th percentile class, the 75th percentile class is 50 to 54. Okay? That's the first thing. So you can say, therefore, therefore, the 75th percentile class is 50 to 54, okay? Based on the position, based on the position, the 75th percentile class is 50 to 54, all right? So, and once you identify the class, every other thing can fall in place. So the next thing is, you can now know the lower limits, which is L75. So therefore, L75 is 50. That's the lower limits, this, the L75 is 50. And then uh, what's the next thing we need from the formula? Of course, we already have this. This is 30. 75 over 100 times CF is 30. So 75 over 100 times 40 times CF. CF, we already know that's 30. Computed already. Then the cumulative frequency before. So cumulative frequency before the 75 percentile class. That is the cumulative frequency before you get to that class. So you know, at, at that class, cumulative frequency is 31. So the cumulative frequency before is this 23. That's cumulative frequency before 75 percentile class. That's 23. Okay. We have that as 23. What else do we need? We need the frequency, the actual frequency of the 75th percentile class. The actual frequency of the 75th percentile class. So 50 to 54 was the frequency. So the frequency is 8. So eight is actually, uh, yeah, eight is the frequency of the 75th percentile class. That is eight. Okay, so we have F to be eight. And then the last thing we need, I believe, is H, which is the class width. That's easy peasy. H, which is the class width, is simply 34 minus 30, or if you like, 
um any other class uh 35 to 39 that's 39 minus 35 that's simply 4 so with this now you can get the final you can get your 75th percentile so p 75 is equal to the lower class which is 50 plus 30 here minus cumulative frequency before that's 23 divided by frequency at that point that's 8 multiplied by 4 so that goes very smoothly right so we have p75 equals 50 plus 30 minus 23 that's 7 over 8 times 4 over 1 so that is p75 now is equal to 50 plus so f4 here is 1 4 here is 2 so 7 over 2 so that p75 is equal to 50 plus 3.5 so p75 is equal to 53.5 so what it simply tells you is that so you can conclude that therefore uh the minimum score the minimum mark the minimum mark required to be at the top at the top 25 percent is 53.5 so if you can score 50 and that's what all these exam educational testing services do all these uh, exams like a uh, scholastic aptitude test graduate record exam and all that so um if you if this was a, an actual exam anybody who scored 53.5 actually is better than 75% of the population. So as I call the 73 percentile, and this is the least score you need to be at the top 25%. So that's how this goes. And I think we've answered all the questions in this part. It's been such an interesting one. So you want to practice, practice, so you can get used to all of these things. Now, identifying these marks can be really confusing. Under an exam situation, you can easily get... um. You can get agitated and, you know, miss some of the tallies and then you have to go back again and check. So you need to be extra careful to be sure that you are doing it right. Especially by the time you're done, do the cumulative frequency to be sure it is up to the total number you, you it, was, it is supposed to be. So pay attention and keep doing this. If you have not subscribed to this channel, be sure to do that. Also, you want to hit the notification bell so you can always get alerted each time a new video is released. And don't forget to like also comment tell me if you want me to teach a particular topic or solve a particular problem I, I should be able to find time to do that along the line and then don't forget to share so that more people can have access to all this great learning till i see you again have a perfect time bye